All right, ladies and gentlemen, Maui Wowie. Yes, what's been going on in Maui? We're gonna talk about the fires in Maui. Uh, get out your lasers, get out your Oprah Winfrey, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to visit the fires in Maui. Let's talk about that tonight on the Report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's been going on in Maui? I've actually been to Maui, Hawaii myself. It's very beautiful. I've driven around the whole island, so I would have been through this particular area of Lahawi, is that how you pronounce it? And, um, you know, it, it, it's very beautiful, and, um, but obviously, you know, there is a kind of, uh, a lot of uh, nice local Hawaiian people who actually are Hawaiian. Obviously, it's a kind of colonial asset of the United States, and, um, there's a lot of wealthy, um, you know, uh, millionaires and billionaires, American, who come there and wish to own, um, you know, beachside property, blah, 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 all that stuff. And there are a lot of locals who are always trying to, you know, halt uh, development and things. And, uh, you know, some of it is actually justified because it's quite a beautiful place. And, you know, I don't think millionaires and billionaires deserve to just throw their weight around um, and do whatever they like, ladies and gentlemen. But obviously, uh, with the whole climate change hysteria, um, you know, they want to make out, you know, that this is global boiling going on. So what they've decided to do, whenever there's really, really warm weather and, um, you know, strong winds, they basically, first of all, they send in arsonists, which is basically people with matches to start fires. Um, you know, I call them climate change's little helpers, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, I think you can expect them this year in Australia. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, people should remember that before the whole COVID bullshit started, we had uh, some terrible fires here in Australia where arson seemed to be the case. Um, and, of course, you know, if you look up that, was arson involved? Oh, you know, Google is, you know, goes into hysterics to make sure that you don't think that was true. You know, and, and you know, the, for example, arson's been proven recently in Greece. Uh, arson's been proven in Canada. Uh, are many of the where these fires have broken out, clearly they are sending either illegal immigrants or globalist agents in there to start these fires. And, um, you know, I think that's what happened in Maui. There's also been talk of, um, you know, kind of like space lasers, you know what I mean? Which does sound a little bit far-fetched, even I admit. But, uh, you know, there seems to be a very strange situation. Anything that was kind of blue was left alone, you know what I mean? Like if it was a house that had a blue roof or a blue car, and it seemed like this laser had gone through this particular area. Um, once the, you know, the fire had been started around, probably with matches, they wanted to basically clear out this whole suburb. Because as you well know, if you, you know, a bushfire going into a residential area, it's not going to burn the entire you know, city to the ground. You know what I mean? If there's a fire on the outskirts of Portsea, the, the idea that every house in Portsea was going to be burned to the ground would probably be highly unlikely. But obviously, I think that's what they wanted to do because they wanted to clear this suburb out so they could bring in all kinds of new development. Development. And um, so, you know, it, it's very strange. And what was strange also is that after the event, they built a gigantic um, fence around it and they brought in FEMA, the people who cleared up the debris from um, September 11th. So no one independent could check out actually what's going on. You can't send a drone in. You can't, you know, walk in and examine what happened. So again, it's very suspicious. Many people are talking about a lot of satellite activity over uh, Maui uh, at that particular time. And, you know, I, I do think it's possible, you know, and someone like Alex Jones is obviously talking about, you know, lasers being used. And, I mean, that guy has been surprisingly right. I mean, he's not right about everything, you know what I mean? But occasionally he gets it wrong. But uh, he's been quite right about a lot of things. And, yeah, I think they probably did use something like these uh, lasers, you know, because I, I think that they have to um, create this hysteria um, to push their climate change agenda, which is obviously <coughs> the thing that they hope to replace COVID with. And they're still trying to bring COVID back. So, you know, I think it's very suspicious what's going on there. Um, you know, um, you know, it, obviously we've had Oprah Winfrey and The Rock have been, you know, asking for money. I mean, this is a billionaire and a multi-millionaire demanding money from people. Why don't they put up their own fucking money? So, you know, whose fault is it? Well, I'm afraid, you know, pray here, I have to tell you, it's the Jews, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the direct energy weapons. That's, that's the, uh, that's the idea. The D-E-W-S is the Jews. Yes, the direct energy weapons. They're behind it, ladies and gentlemen. The Jews. That's right. So, you heard it here first in the report for Tiger Mountain. Direct energy weapons. They're the lasers that everybody's been talking about that have come in. Anything that's blue has been left alone and everything else has been burned to the ground, burned to a crisp. 
you know, like it's, a, you know, KFC. So, you know, it, it's terrible. It's terrible what's been going on. Oprah Winfrey's been there with The Rock. You know, they've been begging for money and she's a billionaire. He's a multi-billionaire. You know, it's terrible. Why don't they just put in some of their own money? And it's funny, their houses that were a little bit down the road have all been left alone. That's just a coincidence, of course. Of course, we like to notice coincidences here. So I think what's been going on at Maui is as dodgy as a $3 bill. Um, there's clearly been some kind of elite mischief. And that's all I wanted to say. And just remember, it, behind it all is the, the Jews, the direct energy weapons. So there it is.